morning my friends welcome back to my channel uh, this is genuine notions my name is Rosie and today I'm coming to you uh, to share with you these uh, art paint pens that I purchased through Amazon these are the Zayar art paint pens and they are acrylic pens but they are water resistant. this pack brings 24 colors and so I have been searching for a uh, acrylic paint pen that um, will not smear or will not activate when I uh, use it in my projects. Uh, in the past, I've had tons of jelly roll pens and uh, white acrylic uh, markers uh, that when you put them down, once you activate and you use any type of wet medium, they would smear or bleed and so i haven't had a lot of luck finding a good acrylic paint pen that would just stay and do what i wanted to do so um i was reading on these on amazon the uh, comments and the ratings were pretty decent so i decided that i would try these out but i wanted to come on the channel and share with you guys and just of course, you know, I'm always on the lookout for new supplies and products that I can share. And maybe you guys will be interested in um, purchasing it as well. So I just wanted to show you, I have have purchased these type of um, acrylic uh, based pens or markers and these are not that great in my opinion that's just my opinion I don't I mean the black one is okay but the white ones usually do not um they're not opaque enough for me and they once I put them down they do blend into the color and they just do not stay white and so I have um these are actually brand new I haven't opened them because I buy them in bundles and I haven't had the need to buy them because I have used them before and I'm not crazy about them so I decided to go with something like this and see if I like it so these bring 24 they're water resistant and um, they this one is the extra fine point and so um, here are the colors in the back and so let's open these and we're going to start putting them down on paper and see how they are I am going to test them with water to see if it does bleed so, oh, look at this. So it comes with stencils, which it didn't even mention that. That's pretty nice. So it comes with stencils. Let's check these out. Oh, and these are pretty cool. Look at these. You know, I have a piece of black paper here where you can see. Look at that. That's a nice design. And this one is pretty cool. It has hearts. That's cute. And this one is a little galaxy there with all these little circles. That's cool. And then this one here. They're all pretty cool. Nice designs. And that's a bonus. You get some pretty cool stencils with that. And I see here that they also added some points. Extra... Um, extra tips which is always good and so here are the extra tips and it's one two three four five six tips which that's awesome I had no idea that you can actually actually um, exchange and take out the replace the tips so that's pretty good too so I'm gonna put these on the side here okay so here it brings some instructions um, on how to um, prepare the marker or the pen so I have already done that but I did um, for the purpose of the video I don't want to make the video too too long so I did um, prepare them but I did leave out two of them that I did not prepare so that I can do that with you guys so I think those were the colors that I did not prepare so here we have um, the reason that I selected this one is because it has 24 colors and I wanted um, a variety of colors and these have really pretty cool colors. So it has black, bright blue, light magenta, violet brown, green orange, white yellow, blue red. 
and then it has pastel colors yellow pink green blue green pink and violet brown and then it has two metallic colors which is the gold and the silver and then it has the neutral colors which is gray olive and light wine so what i noticed about these um most of the acrylic pens that you purchase you do have to shake them and bring down the point and some of them like these for example you have to do it a lot before the paint actually gets to the tip these were fairly easy in doing that so let's see if we can do that now it's really really fast look at that do you see that okay i'm gonna do it one more time and look that's fast the tip is already filled with the paint okay so now these are all ready to go and what i wanted to do is um test them out on white and black paper So let's open these, get these ready. Um, so we're gonna start with the white. And it's good, this is the, the only thing that I can say about these pens that I'm not crazy about um, is that the pens do not have the color on the actual pen. And so I do have to look at the box and I am thinking that this one is a pastel color and this is the violet. Yeah, because this is the regular. So this is the pastel violet. I'm just going to see. So it does... Um, let me see something. If I do it like this... Okay. Hmm. So this one is not really um the paint is not fully hitting the tip for some reason. So for some reason, so okay. I don't know if it's just this pen. Let's try this one, which is, I'm assuming this is the pastel green. Uh, yes, past, uh, let me see, uh, pastel light green. Sorry about that. So let's see. So you see, I think this one here, maybe I need to shake it a little bit more, but uh, the paint is not uh, going towards the tip as much. So this one is working pretty well. So that's the pastel. And these are the extra fine. So that is the type of line you're gonna get with the extra fine. Okay, so let's see. So I'm gonna try to do this real fast. I don't wanna, I mean, you can see right there what I'm trying to do. Hmm, interesting. I don't even know what color this is. This looks kind of like an aqua color, but I don't see anything with aqua there. So let's see. Light blue. Light green, pastel green. Could this be the pastel green? But it kind of looks like an aqua. I think this is a pastel green. But I don't know if the, com the, col the camera could pick it up. You see that? It kind of looks like aqua more than green. So it's a very pretty color though. But I don't think they... um labeled it I like this color that's really nice This is skin pink, you see, but let's see how this goes on paper. Again, that tip there is not filling up like the first one that I used, which is that purple one there. So it may just be the pen, 
You see, this one's not working at all. Yeah. Which I'm disappointed because, you know, you always look for a uh, skin color, like a flesh, uh, flesh tone. And this one's not working at all, guys. Not even when I'm pressing it down. I don't know. So that's disappointing. So these two, I'm going to try the purple one one more time. Then we have the white. The white, I feel I have to test this one because I always have issues with the white when it comes to acrylic pens. If, there, if you have any suggestions regarding um, the white acrylic pens, if you know of one that is really good and you can recommend, let me know. This is the black. And that's no issue with the black. So, so there we go, guys. These are the colors and that is what the point. That is the type of line that you will get. Okay, and this um, package retails, um, it's on Amazon for $20.69. Okay, so I wanna see if I can let this dry because I do wanna try and see if it bleeds with the water. But we're gonna put that aside a little bit and I do wanna test the white one on black. And I'm going to try one of those pastel colors on the black as well to see how bright and how it'll stand out on the black color. So this is the white. Let me shake it really, really well to give it a good chance. Hmm. Let me press it down. Okay, so this is the lime green that is pastel, and look at this so-called green. Looks like aqua to me. But they label it as green, so we're gonna try, that's the pastel color. Okay, so I just realized if you press it, if you're pressing the tip down while you're writing, it'll come out like that thick. See that? That's the orange. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else. Uh, let's try the purple. It's a little bit darker. Oh, the violet. That's the way they, they're labeling it. Okay. All right, so pressing the point down while I'm just a teeny bit. That's the purple or the violet. Maybe that's the way you're supposed to use it. I'm not sure. This is supposed to be the red. Okay. 
that doesn't really look like a red to me but um that's what it looks like so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to try these that will give me an issue i'm going to press down a little bit on the point while i'm writing let's see if it delivers hmm. i think this one is just the pen okay okay and even when i'm pressing it still giving me a bit of a hard time but yeah because i put a little pressure and i pressed a little bit on the point like pressing it down it did um come out better let's do this so okay I don't know so I am like on the fence with these I do love the colors they're really pretty and I like the way they're coming out on the black um, I do have an issue with the pen itself I think it's the pen um, so some of them are coming out really good and then there's those that are I'm struggling with like these so I don't know the first um sets i bought two other sets and this is why i bought this last set i really liked so i'm gonna just bring those out let's put these aside right now so these are the set the first sets that i bought so these are the metallics by the same brands they are and these are the dual tip and then these are the brush tip ones which are larger and the tip is not um it's more of a flexible tip and I'll show you I'll show you that in a little bit but um so I love these and I did love these so that's why I purchased the regular acrylic paint fine tip so these are those colors right here this is the brush tip and these are the dual tip and those colors are beautiful and as you can see they all came out really juicy no skipping but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you here on this paper just so you can see it for yourself different name so this is the metal pink I'm gonna shake it so I'm gonna use the broad tip and look at that do you see that? That is gorgeous. And look how juicy that is. And then this is the fine point. And no issues with that. I'm going to also try, let's try this beautiful blue. This is, I'm assuming, metal blue or metal, is this metal turquoise? Okay, they labeled it as metal turquoise. This is definitely not turquoise. This looks more like a, um royal blue to me and look how juicy that is no issues look at that so let's try the lime or the metal green I'm assuming that's what it is metal lime metal lime look at that gorgeous you see so these did not give me any issues Look at that. They're juicy. They go down really nicely. Those are the dual tip metallics. So these don't come with that this base here. They come just like this. So okay, so we're gonna try. Uh let's try this blue, pretty blue. So the difference between these the smaller ones and these these do have the name on the pen which I like I wish that they all had the name on the pen but the smaller ones for some reason the fine tip ones and do not have it the dual tip ones does not have it but this one does and look at this point and so it's more of a flexible point let me see if I can show you I don't know that I can show it to you but you see it does bend but as you can see, it is juicy. So 
look at that guys that is and you can also if you don't press too hard you can probably get a fine point um i guess it depends but look at this guys oh my god look at that that's awesome so that's a really nice juicy um marker there uh, let's try this one the only thing too with these markers I don't see a really sharp red red these this one says it's red but it's really not this does not look like red even when you lay it it doesn't look like red so So yeah, so I don't know if I have to um, let them just let them sit like this where the paint could go down. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna play around with them more and see. Um, but I do like these a lot. The brand is good. I just have an issue with that last pack that I bought, which is the art paint pen uh, extra fine point because the extra fine point for these which is the metallic ones they work fine but the extra fine point for these i don't know i think most of them worked okay but there's probably a few of them that didn't so yeah guys so just and now i want to test with water so these i did test with water and they do not activate they stay permanent and it does say water resistance on the box. So I just wanted to see how resistant it is. So I'm gonna so these are the ones I just tested with you guys. Let's see. And look at that guys. It does not activate at all, which is awesome. And that is exactly what I was looking for. Let's try another spot here. Nope. And let's try another spot here with the black. So it does not activate, which that is really good. Now let's try it here on the black. So if it doesn't activate on the white, it shouldn't activate on the black either. So there you go. Doesn't activate, it stays put. That's awesome. Let's try it here. Which I just laid these paints down. So they dried fairly quickly. And these are the metallics right here. Awesome. They don't they don't activate. So that's great when it comes to these pens. So if you're looking for something that's acrylic but that will stay down permanent, these are the pens for you. Um, the only thing is just keep in mind that, you know, I mean, it could be just this batch that I bought that it doesn't work. You know, some of them, not all of them. I think I would say like 75% of them work good. It's just like three or four that don't work well. So I'm not going to judge the company for that. So... Hey yeah, guys, so I just wanted to bring these to your attention just in case you're looking for something like this. Um, I do want to apologize for being MIA. It's been a while since I came back to this channel to show you or, you know, to show a review. So I do want to apologize for that. I'm going to try my best to continue, you know, doing more videos on this channel because I have been a little busy. But like I said... I am going to try my best to come back and share with you guys, on, you know, supplies and things that I think you should be aware of because you may be interested in purchasing, you know. So, yeah, guys. So, this is the Zayar um, acrylic paint pen. They come in, a different, uh, in different varieties. We have the acrylic uh, paint pens, the art paint pens that are just the fine uh, point extra fine point they bring 24 then we have the dual tip the broad and the extra fine tip which bring 12 and these are the metallics and then we have the brush tip uh which are also water resistant they're all water resistant and then these bring 12 too and so these were uh let's see 15.99 I think originally they were $21.99. I purchased them for $15.99. Uh, these, the metallics, um, sorry, the metallics are $15.99. The brush tips were $14.99.
And these that bring the 24 were 2069. So yeah, guys, you will find these on Amazon. I can link these down below. Um, again, this 24 pack bought the stencil and the tips, which it's a great bonus um, if you're interested. And let's see. Okay, so that's it, guys. So um, go check these out. I mean, if you're into art and you're looking for something um, like an acrylic pen uh, that will stay down and is permanent, check these out. Give it a try. I mean, if there's something else that you would like me to try out, if I can, I would definitely try to purchase it depending on the price again because this is not a sponsored video i do purchase my own items and i have done collaborations with companies but so far most of the things that you see on this channel i have purchased with my own money so this is just things that i find and that i want to bring to your attention just in case you are interested in purchasing them as well so with that being said guys um Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, let me know what you think about the pens. Um, let me know what you think about the video. And I will see you guys on the next video. Hopefully with some more um, items to share with you. And um, just bring to you. So thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you on the next video. Stay blessed and take care. Bye bye.